Hi everyone, it's Tuesday, April 2nd, 2019. I hope everyone is having a beautiful day in the Lord. I have a couple of devotionals for you, but first, as always, I like to say the Our Father, so please join me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Father, for this day. I love you so very much. God bless you, Father, in Jesus' name. Okay, this is called Teacher and Lord. And the reading is from John 13, 13. And it says, you call me teacher and Lord, and you say, well, for so am I. I wonder if you ever thought about the incredible number of messages that rain down on us every day. Television ads, emails, phone calls, magazines, junk mail, videos, billboard signs, conversations that we have. The list is almost endless. How many of those shape our thinking? How many of them subtly convince us that the road to happiness is really paved with possessions or with beauty or money or fame or any of a hundred other things? How many of them persuade us that the most important thing in life is financial success? or the esteem of others, or power, or sex. It's hard to resist the cumulative impact of so many messages. But God says that our thinking must be shaped by his truth. What this world calls valuable, God calls worthless. What this world scorns, God exalts. My thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, the Lord says in Isaiah 55, 8. Jesus said, quotes, you call me teacher and Lord, and you say, well, for so am I. He is your teacher and Lord, or is he your teacher and Lord, or is the world? And some hope for today is the way to recognize a forgery is not to study the forgery, but to be intimately acquainted with the truth. Satan will make subtle attempts to lead us astray with lying messages, but he will not be fooled if we are filled with God's truth. Because the truth will always lead you back. And um, this one, next one is called... loving compassion and it says it's from 1 john 4 10 and it says in this is love not that we loved god but that he loved us the supreme happiness of life victor hugo said quotes is the conviction that we are loved love is the first requirement for mental health declared sigmund freud Unfortunately, many people go through life feeling unloved and unlovable. Perhaps they were constantly criticized or ignored as children, or their family was torn by conflict. Perhaps they made bad choices about important issues in life, which only confirmed their belief that they were unworthy of love. This may be your experience. But listen. I have good news. No matter what the reason. Your feelings aren't telling you the truth. God loves you. 
And if you begin to see yourself the way that God sees you, your attitudes will begin to change. If he didn't love you, would Christ have been willing to die for you? But he did. The Bible says, by this we know love, because he laid down his life for us in 1 John 3.16. God loves you. Hammer that truth into your heart and your mind every single day and it will make a difference and uh some hope for today is i can't read i'm sorry god's word is his love letter to each one of his children by reading it we are reminded that the high king of heaven left his throne came to earth and conquered the grave so that we might be set free from the chains of death and live with him forever and that is true love okay and if you don't know the lord jesus christ today today is the day of salvation for you okay people we are running out of time we are running out of time I'm gonna put the salvation video right behind this and I want you to follow along and I want you to come with an open mind and a sincere heart and I want you to give your heart to the Lord and let him make you a new person. He will take all those burdens off of you. I guarantee it. Because the Holy Bible. So help me God. Okay. I want to tell you, remind you that I love you and Jesus loves you. Never forget how much he loves you. Never forget it. He's coming sooner than you think. God bless you.